Hi my loves, welcome back to Sandy Shares. I'm Sandy and today I'm sharing with you 10 healthy things that you think are healthy that may actually not be healthy. Now, you may be looking at me and going, you're not exactly a walking advertisement for health. And you're absolutely right, I am not. These are things that I myself thought were healthy and I have discovered that they're actually not as healthy as they claim to be. So the first one may actually shock you. So the first one is that everything that says fat free or low fat is not actually fat free or low fat. You're thinking, mm, really, why is it not fat free or low fat? Well, when manufacturers make food, they take out the fat which gives food flavor and so to replace that and still make the food somewhat tasty they have to replace it with sugar otherwise it just won't be something that you want to eat so sugar or anything that you see that is glucose or fructose anything with an ose at the end basically is sugar and sugar turns into fat in the body i remember growing up everything was fat free you know you had fat free cereal you had fat free yogurt you had fat free juice and everyone feared fat so much so the best thing to do is whenever you see something that says fat free turn it around look at the label look at the ingredients list you probably be shocked and surprised how much sugar is in things that don't even need to have sugar so that thing that says fat free is technically not fat free because your body then stores it as fat and that makes you fat <laughs> the next is for us ladies so if you're a gentleman you're watching this you probably want to skip this or you may want to watch it to learn something but that is cleaning our lady parts with things like apple cider vinegar and lemon juice and i'm just thinking that's gonna hurt lemon is acidic apple cider vinegar is acidic we are delicate flowers in that region we need to treat it with care and i don't understand how i see hack videos and i see people actually saying wash your lady parts with lemon juice or apple cider vinegar and i'm just like no no our lady flower is a self-cleaning machine she knows how to regulate yeah i see hack videos saying clean it with this clean it with that clean. no it can actually be bad over cleaning it you know the lady part the lady flower has its own natural bacteria there that we actually need so you don't want to be cleaning it with harsh products and harsh washes and all these kind of hacks you you see it's just no i find water is enough water is enough to clean down there and she is a self-cleaning machine anyway so she knows how to regulate now of course if you have any kind of discharge or different smell and you will know because everybody's body is different you will know then of course go and see someone about that and get that checked out but to say that we are not meant to have any smell down there i just think that is so wrong your lady flower has its own scent its own odor everyone is different everyone has their own scent and that's okay you don't want to get rid of all your scent by using all these like harsh products because it's just is not good for you it's not healthy to wash with all those products you know she's gentle she's delicate you know handle her with care take care of it and she'll take care of herself the next one is eating gluten-free things gluten-free cereal gluten-free bread gluten-free packets of crips whatever eating gluten-free just because you think it's healthier now there are some people that actually have a gluten allergy and some people might have what is um known as, as a, i think i'm trying to say this right celiac disease um i'm not an expert in it but i know like that they might have issues with gluten but if you don't have any health concerns just having something because it says glue it's gluten 
free and thinking it's healthier may not actually be best for you so I just think again it's about finding what works for you so go and get yourself checked out if you do have any allergies and then yeah sure if you have an allergy to gluten don't eat gluten food it's okay to eat gluten free food but if you don't have any allergies you just eat in things that are gluten free because you just think it's automatically going to be healthier for you I think that's a mistake that's just my opinion I know my opinion I am entitled to my opinion it might be shocking but that's just my opinion the next one is to follow trends and just do things because you think they are trendy what I mean by that is e.g. being vegan or a fruitarian if you're just following a certain way of eating because it's trendy or because you think it's healthier I think that might be a mistake documentaries such as the game changer forks over knives are great at showing the benefits of eating plant-based but I personally think that doesn't mean that eating meat or animal products is unhealthy I personally think it's about balance meats and vegetables and grains and fruit I think it's about finding a balance and eating from all food groups that's just what I personally think I think if you're just following a particular way of eating because you think it's healthy yeah then another a way of eating just because somebody you follow is eating that way or because a documentary says you should eat that way I just think that is kind of not the right mindset to have and so I think it's about finding what works for you but don't just eat a certain way or follow a certain trend because you think it's healthier without actually doing the work yourself without doing the research yourself so research it for yourself go and speak to your doctor you know go and speak to a dietitian and you know just find what works for you and that don't just follow trends kind of blindly because it might not be right for you the next one is gonna shock you it did when I found out about it and that is to only eat the egg whites not the egg yolks if you think about it that is so weird but I am an infomercial junkie and I remember always buying kind of the next health program the next thing that's gonna make you lose weight or help you lose weight and it often came with like an exercise part as well as a nutrition part but it was kind of like a standard nutrition but I always remember they used to say have five egg whites or they'll say like one egg one whole egg and five egg whites and I would just be like why are you taking out the most nutritious part of the egg which is the yolk the yolk has all the nutrients and the benefits and I just think taking it out and throwing away or taking it out and just having egg whites is just it always was a bit weird to me so I'm glad that now I eat the whole egg so I think if you don't have any issues with cholesterol or whatever I think you can eat the whole egg again you need to go and speak to your health professional but I just found it so weird that you just have the egg whites I just think it's a waste because all the nutrients are found in the yolk so have the yolk and the egg whites have the whole egg because I just think it's it's just good for you you know if you're just having egg whites and throwing the yolk away that I think might not be the healthiest thing to do but again it, you have to do what works for you for me I now just have the whole egg the next one is a very controversial topic and that is sugar and artificial sweeteners they say that sugar is as addictive as cocaine or more so I think I've read somewhere so we all know that sugar is is not that good for us but what I found is even weirder or really hard to comprehend is that sugar is found in so many foods that you wouldn't even believe that it had sugar in it and the only way to find out is to look at the back of the food and see what the ingredients list say and you'll see you you may see something that says sugar free but if you look at the back you see glucose or fructose or anything with like a, a receipt and that's all sugar but I'm thinking this says sugar free but it has sugar so how is that healthy for me it's not so please check the back of food labels to really see if what you're having is really sugar free and nowadays there are so many alternatives to sugar you can have mock fruit you can have stevia you can also have honey you know there's so many 
other alternatives to sugar that you don't need to have like the real sugar sugar so i'm not saying to be completely sugar free because let's face it you know trying to have a cup of tea with no sugar is disgusting i have tried it and it's not the best but but i use a sugar alternative and so i still get to have sugar in my tea but i'm not actually having the bad sugar if you know what i mean <laughs> the next one i actually discovered when i was on one of the many diets that i've been on in my lifetime <laughs> and that is to not chew chewing gum when you're on a diet and you're thinking well what's wrong with chewing gum you can get sugar-free chewing gum yes but the point is when you chew chewing gum and you start to chew it sends signals to your brain that to prepare to digest food because you're chewing and so your body then gets ready to digest food so chewing chewing gum gives your body a false signal that there is food to come and that your body should start preparing to digest food which actually will make your body give off hunger signals so it may actually make you feel more hungry chewing chewing gum that's why when i was on diet they say not to chew chewing gum but i say instead try other alternatives such as mint i've heard people say chewing mint helps them instead of actually chewing chewing gum you know the sugary chewing gum i remember when i was at school the sugary ones like the hubba bubba they were always so nice you can tell i'm a foodie <laughs> they were so nice but like the sugar would be gone with the like a minute and then you'd have to chew another one and another one another one and then at lunchtime you get so hungry and you didn't know why because you spent all morning chewing chewing gums <laughs> and that's what we used to do at school you chew them take them out and then you put them under the desk i never did that i never did that i think that's disgusting but other people used to do that and then lunch time you're really hungry and i just never knew why but now i know it's because chewing gum it makes your body think it's about to receive food and so it prepares to digest that food but nothing comes the next one is thinking that you have to eat breakfast first thing in the morning now the clue is in the name break fast breakfast is just when you break your fast so when you've been sleeping your body has been in a fasting state it has you haven't been eating anything you haven't been drinking anything and the first thing that you eat in the day whether it is at 9 a.m 10 a.m at 1 p.m or 2 p.m that is what would be your breakfast you know there is a lot of kind of health professionals out there or a lot of information out there saying breakfast is the most important meal of the day and that is true but breakfast is different for everybody depending on when you actually break your fast break fast so if you wake up in the morning and you're not hungry don't think you have to eat just because it's morning and you have to eat something in the morning if you are hungry at like 1 p.m then have your breakfast at 1 p.m if you're hungry at 9 a.m then have your breakfast at 9 a.m breakfast is whenever you first eat in the day whatever time that may be a lot of people also do what is known as intermittent fasting and that's where they will eat for a certain period of time and and then the rest of the time they will allow their body to fast so if you think yo i have to have something in the morning because it's healthy and you don't actually get hungry in the morning then don't eat you know eat whenever you are hungry because whenever you first eat that's when you are breaking your fast and having your break fast get it breakfast <laughs> the next one some of you may not agree with but i think it will make sense to you when you hear it and that is over supplementing your diet now i know we all live busy lives and it's really hard to get all of the nutrients that we need with our hectic schedules and hectic lives but i find this kind of again because i um, I was really into fitness before I know it doesn't show <laughs> but I have was really into fitness before and you know drinking protein shakes and having protein bars and you know having all these supplements here and this and that and the vitamin Z and that and it's great but I think nothing beats getting what you actually need getting all your nutrients from 
real food. The word is in the supplement. It is to supplement your diet. They're not meant to place you having real food. They're just meant to be like a little extra thing here that you might have. Maybe you don't have time to have, you know, lunch. So you just grab kind of a bar and you have that and then you have your lunch an hour or two later. That's fine. But just thinking that you have to have a protein shake for breakfast, a protein shake for lunch and then a bar as a snack. I just think it's, it's doing it a bit too much. So focus on having real food, getting your nutrients from real food and and then supplement with supplements <laughs> you know one or two but don't think like supplements are gonna overtake the nutrients that you get from real food then try meal prepping maybe the night before or spend one day maybe on a sunday prep like two or three meals that you can have throughout the week that way you have it ready to go I think that would be more beneficial than grabbing a protein bar or kind of a protein shake having the next one can actually be healthy for you so this one is actually healthy for you but the way that you have it may not actually be healthy that is having apple cider vinegar but not drinking it with a straw you're thinking what difference does it make whether i drink it with a straw or i drink it out of the glass well because apple cider vinegar is acidic there's a chance that it might actually um ruin the enamel on your teeth so i know you're thinking really yeah but when you drink of a straw it kind of bypasses your teeth and goes straight in like i said it's great drinking apple cider vinegar it is good to drink apple cider vinegar it may not taste the best but it definitely is good for you it has many health benefits but just start drinking it with a straw you know save yourself some uh, dentist fees or some dentist treatment save that money keep it in your pocket all right that's what i say <laughs> if you enjoyed this video then please give this video a thumbs up also subscribe if you're new and uh, i will see you on my next video bye